Organic Ingenious Supplies. And we are back. This game was a really fun one because we got to play with one of our patrons. In addition to Elliot, Aaron, and myself, we're joined by Bear Claymore. He signed up for one of our new patron tiers, and that allows him to play in a game with us on the channel. If you want to do the same, the link to our Patreon is going to be in the show notes. Kicking off this game, Elliot is playing Ukima Kazur Sultai Food Chain. Just as the name suggests, it's a food chain deck that looks to cast either Eternal Scourge or Miss Hollow Griffin from Exile, feeding into the food chain, getting more and more mana each time, then feeding that infinite creature mana into Ukima. Every time Ukima leaves the battlefield, it'll drain somebody, casting it over and over and over again until everybody's dead. Jim is playing Urza Polycracken. This is a polymorph list that focuses on low cost, fast mana, using Urza's ability to generate a ton of mana and polymorph the construct token into Hullbreaker Horror. Bear is playing an old standby, Timnacrom Blue Farm. This is an ad nauseum list that has some mid-range game. It can grind out games with Timnacrom or end the game early with Thassa's Oracle. And finally, Aaron is playing Timna Malcolm. This is another Esper mid-range list that absolutely loves drawing cards. And with that, let's get right into it. There's no pre-game effects, so Elliot kicks off turn one by drawing a card. He plays an Undergrowth Stadium as land for turn, then casts Birds of Paradise. When it resolves, he passes. Jim draws a card, plays a Misty Rainforest, and cracks it going to 39, grabbing a snow-covered island. He casts Sensei's Divining Top, then passes to Bear. Bear draws a card, casts a Mox Diamond pitching a Tundra, then casts a Chrome Mox pitching Silence. He casts a Mystic Remora. He follows it up by playing Luxury Suite as his land for turn, and it enters untapped because he's got three opponents. He passes the turn. Aaron draws a card, plays an Arid Mesa, and cracks it going to 39, grabbing a Tundra. He casts an Esper Sentinel. He casts a Jeweled Lotus, and this triggers Mystic Remora, but Aaron can't pay, so Bear draws a card. He sacks his Jeweled Lotus for blue, 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 and casts Malcolm. When it resolves, he passes. Elliot untaps on turn two and draws a card. He plays an Underground Sea, casts Arbor Elf, and passes to Jim. Jim untaps, and in his upkeep, he spins Sensei's Divining Top. He puts the cards back, then draws a card, and plays a Sappers and Scary tapped. He moves to his end step, and Bear casts a Vampiric Tutor. This triggers Aaron's Esper Sentinel, and Bear pays for it. The Vampiric Tutor resolves, and Jim continues passing the turn. Bear untaps, and in his upkeep, the Mystic Remora triggers. He decides to keep it around for one more turn, so he pays one mana. He draws the card he tutored for on Jim's turn, and with nothing else to do, he passes. Aaron untaps, and draws a card. He plays a Verdant Catacombs. He immediately cracks it, going to 38, and grabs an Underground Sea. He moves to combat, swinging Malcolm at Jim. Jim has no blocks, so he takes two, going to 37. This triggers Malcolm, and Aaron gets a treasure token. In his second main phase, Aaron casts Timna. He then moves to his end step, and Elliot casts Tainted Pact, triggering Mystic Remora and Esper Sentinel. Elliot doesn't pay for either, so Aaron draws, then Bear draws. The Tainted Pact resolves, and Elliot exiles a lot of cards. Notable hits here are Thassa's Oracle, Laboratory Maniac, Ad Nauseum, and Eternal Scourge. Elliot untaps on turn three and draws a card. He plays a Llanowar Wastes as his land for turn, then casts Food Chain. This triggers Mystic Remora and Esper Sentinel, so Aaron draws and then Bear draws when Elliot doesn't pay. In response to the Food Chain, Jim casts Force of Will, pitching Swansong and paying one life. This triggers Mystic Remora and Esper Sentinel again, and both Aaron and Bear draw. Elliot responds to the Force of Will by casting Veil of Summer. This also triggers the Mystic Remora and Bear draws. The Veil of Summer resolves, drawing Elliot a card, then Force fails to resolve. The food chain ends up resolving. Elliot casts Eternal Scourge from Exile, and Bear responds by casting Mindbreak Trap. This triggers Aaron's Esper Sentinel, and Bear pays. The Mindbreak Trap resolves, the Eternal Scourge is put back in Exile, and Elliot passes. Jim untaps, draws a card, and activates Sensei's Divining Top to draw a card. He puts the top back on top of his library. Jim plays a City of Traders as his land for turn, then casts Urza. This resolves, and when it enters, it makes a Construct token. Jim casts a Grim Monolith, triggering Mystic Remora and Esper Sentinel. He doesn't pay for either, so both Aaron and Bear draw. Jim moves to his end step, and Bear casts Enlightened Tutor, triggering the Esper Sentinel. Bear doesn't pay, so Aaron draws another card. Bear searches up Mana Crypt and puts it on top. Bear untaps, and in his upkeep, the Mystic Remora takes up to two, and Bear doesn't pay. He draws the Mana Crypt that he searched up earlier, and plays a Sea of Clouds as his land for turn. 
He casts that mana crypt, triggering the Esper Sentinel. Bear doesn't pay, so Aaron draws. He casts Ristic Study, which resolves. Then he casts a Grand Abolisher, and when that resolves, he passes to Aaron. Aaron untaps and draws a card. He plays a Flooded Strand, then immediately moves to combat. He swings Malcolm at Jim and Timna at Elliot. There's no blocks, so each take two. Aaron makes a minor error here and forgets to gain two from the lifelink, so he should be at 40. Combat damage triggers Malcolm, and Aaron makes a treasure. Then in post-combat main, Aaron pays two life and draws two cards from the Timna trigger. He cracks a Flooded Strand and makes another minor error, taking two instead of one to grab Watery Grave. This comes into play untapped, and he takes two. Aaron casts Phantasmal Image, triggering Ristic Study. Aaron doesn't pay, so Bear draws a card. The Phantasmal Image resolves and enters as a copy of Urza. When Urza enters, it triggers its own ability and makes a Construct token. Aaron casts Mana Vault, triggering Ristic Study, and this time he pays for it. He casts an Arcane Signet, triggering Ristic Study, and he doesn't pay, so Bear draws. Then he casts his own Mystic Remora, triggering the Ristic Study again, and this time he's responsible and pays for it. Aaron passes the turn, discarding Felwar Stone and Talisman of Hierarchy to hand size. Elliot untaps, draws a card, casts a Priest of Titania, which triggers the Ristic Study, and Elliot pays for it. He passes to Jim. Jim untaps and draws a card. He recasts the Sensei's Divining Top with one floating. This triggers Ristic Study, Mystic Remora, and Esper Sentinel, and Jim doesn't pay for any of them. Aaron draws two, and Bear draws one. Jim uses the one floating to spin Sensei's Divining Top, then after putting the cards back on top, he casts Transmute Artifact. This triggers Ristic Study and Mystic Remora, and again, Jim doesn't pay for either. Aaron draws, then Bear draws. The Transmute Artifact resolves, and on resolution, Jim sacrifices Sensei's Divining Top. He searches up Proteus Staff, and pays an additional two to have it enter the battlefield. Jim activates Proteus Staff, targeting his Construct token. Aaron responds by paying a blue and exiling Ristic Study from his hand to cast March of Swirling Mists, targeting the Construct token and Urza to phase them out until Jim's next turn. This triggers Ristic Study, and Aaron doesn't pay, so Bear draws. Then March resolves, then Proteus Staff's ability fails to resolve because it doesn't have a valid target. Jim moves to his end step, and Aaron returns two islands to his hand to cast Gush. This triggers Ristic Study, and Aaron doesn't pay, so Bear draws. Then Aaron draws two to resolve the Gush, and Jim continues passing the turn. On turn four, Bear untaps, and in his upkeep, he loses the Mana Crypt flip and takes three damage. He draws a card, then casts Demonic Tutor, triggering Esper Sentinel and Mystic Remora. Bear pays for the Esper Sentinel, and Aaron draws off the Mystic Remora. The Demonic Tutor resolves. Bear searches up one card and puts it in his hand. He casts a Dockside Extortionist, and the count is at nine. So when it enters, it makes nine treasures. Bear casts Thassa's Oracle. The creature spell resolves, and when it enters the battlefield, Bear holds priority and casts Demonic Consultation, triggering Mystic Remora. Bear pays the four, then resolves his Demonic Consultation, naming Black Lotus. He exiles all of the cards in his library, then Thassa's Oracle resolves, and he wins the game. Just a quick one today, but that can happen when you don't pay your taxes, I guess. Huge thanks to Bear Claymore for joining us for this game. Again, if you want to get in on the action, head over to our Patreon and check out the tiers that allow you to play with us. I'm sure you'll find something there you'll like, including these oversized dice that we used earlier in the game. And with that, we'll catch you next time. I want to give a huge shout out to all of our patron supporters, especially those on the screen right now. The support you give us helps us keep the lights on and keeps us making cool content like this every week. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And with that, we'll catch you next time.